Hi, I'm Patrick Palm, founder and CEO of Favro. The Favro platform is quite different from other tools. So if you want to have leadership and uh, team culture that's much more collaborative, I really think you should check out the Favro free trial. Now, we've been building tools that are enterprise grade in this space for more than 20 years. And we learned a lot that we have been putting into, into this platform. The first thing which is quite different from other tools is that it is in true real time. It's very snappy to use. So it doesn't matter if you're a thousand people on three continents, it's going to be in real time on your screen. And when it comes to ease of use, you can also customize this to the specific workflows that you have uh, without any help from uh, IT or any coding. So you can do it yourself uh, in your team, you know, the workflows, automations, the workflows, uh, dashboards, uh, all of that stuff uh, you can do yourself. But we also have a long list of ready-made solutions. We can simply just click and get started. We have solutions for Kanban, Scrumban. Uh, we have a CRM, uh, marketing. The list goes very long. And it's also frameworks like the product operating framework, uh, which is uh, very popular right now to work in a much better way with product management. Okay, this sounds amazing, right? So why not use Favro? Well, uh, Favro is very much designed for a culture where you have quite a flat organization. Uh, you have teams that are highly autonomous, individuals that are highly autonomous. So especially if you're a hybrid organization, uh, this will work really well. There's, there's no platform like Favor for that. But maybe you want to have a culture of centralization of workflows and micromanagement and that the only ones that can really update workflows and automations and all that are the IT organization. Then something like Jira would be a better choice for you. So it really depends on what kind of culture you want to have in your company. And if your strategic initiative around culture is more flat organization, high level autonomy, favor would be the absolute best choice in the world versus if you want to have centralization and more micromanagement, then there are other tools that are doing that better. What I think is the true superpower of the favor platform is how it makes it simple to collaborate between teams, both uh, teams horizontally in the organization, like you know, product and marketing, sales, etc., uh, but also vertical to make it much more collaborative uh, between uh, management of the company and the teams. So if you're working with, for example, OKRs or any other way of steering your company through objectives, Favor will provide a much more collaborative approach uh, to do that, which will increase your chances of success. And the, fa the fact that Favor is very flow-based, it gives you flow-based metrics. And flow-based metrics are much more powerful when you're trying to estimate, you know, when is the product going to be done? And it's also much less work. So uh, how does this actually work? Well, most tools, they're created by people coming from an IT point of view. So the tools are really glorified databases. And this is why you know, most of the tools out there are looking pretty much the same. We are coming from more of an organizational psychology point of view. And the underlying architecture of Favor is different. And this allows for much, much simpler uh, collaboration between teams. You know, the situation where things typically get very complex in our tools. Favor builds upon four building blocks, and you really only need to know these four building blocks to really build uh, any uh, type of uh, workflow. And I explain them very quickly. It is uh, Favor cards, and those cards are living on Favor boards. And these boards you can view in many different ways. It's the same board, it's just different views. You can view it as a, as a Kanban for a very nice flow based approach. But you can also view it as a sheet where you can create a hierarchy, so like a prop backlog. You can also view it on a timeline for road mapping. And you can create forms, which is a very easy way to uh, have data being inputted into these boards. And these forms could be shared also externally. So for example, maybe you have customers that wants to report bugs. Well, they can do that in a very easy way, straight into Favro in this way. OK, and these boards they are then living in uh, what's called collections. So a collection is typically for a certain situation. It might be a certain management meeting uh, or a certain team. So a collection for the product team, a collection for the marketing team, etc. 
And then everything is tied together with something called relations. And on every card, you can see uh, where does this card exist? You know, what different workflows are entangled with each other? And this is very, this is created in a very simple way. Uh, cards can exist in more than one board. So a good example of this would be that you have a card that exists in a prop backlog, but then it also exists in a marketing board for what the marketing team is going to do with uh, with this user story uh, or objective or you know whatever it is. And then the same card will exist uh, in the product team's board because they are developing uh, the features. So here's just a simple example of three different teams working on the same thing. So Favro is really bringing everyone to be together in a collaborative way in the tool. Instead of shopping things into small tickets, you end up with piles of tickets like you do in typical tools like Jira. And this is also a very powerful way to involve uh, externals so that externals are not uh, partners you're throwing things over the wall to, but they will feel more like an extension of your team. So Favro is really good at this. And then these boards can exist in more than one collection. So think, for example, about a, about a backlog of the various features you're going to develop in a product team. So that backlog very naturally exists in a collection for the product development team. But this backlog could also be in a collection that gives an overview for a senior manager that maybe have the backlog for what's going on with product, but maybe they also have a backlog for uh, what's going on in say marketing and maybe a very high level backlog for company initiatives and maybe some cool dashboards showing you know what's really going on in real time in this company. So again, here's an example of how a board quite naturally would exist in more than one collection. So as you can see here, uh, you can very, very easily uh, just click and get started with a solution with Favro for your specific team. But you know, day one or maybe day two, you can start customizing these workflows to exactly how you're working. And again, as I said, you can do that without writing any code and no involvement from IT. I hope you check this out because it is quite different from the other tools.